everyone, Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com and today I'm here to share with you a really fun project for Easter this year, an Easter egg throne. I don't know about you, I think every Cadbury egg deserves a throne because Cadbury does make the absolute best Easter eggs on the planet. And today I'm just going to share with you how easy it is to create this very simple and fun little Easter egg throne. So let's go ahead and get started with our project. We're going to begin with, um, I'm using Perfect Plum cardstock. This piece is cut 11 inches by 2 inches, and I have scored that at 4.5 and, and 6.5 and inches. I have another piece of Perfect Plum cardstock. This piece is 3.5 by 3.5, and, and I've also scored this one. I scored it at 3 quarters of an inch on all four sides. All right, well, since I have this piece here, let's go ahead and do some cutting. I'm just going to cut. You see we've got four little squares here on the side. I'm just going to cut up to the um, next little score line, just like so. Now one of the things whenever I'm making any kind of box, I do like to miter out the corners. It just helps my box go together better and it doesn't get so bulky in there. So I'm just going to trim away all these little pieces here. All right, I've got those all cut out. You can see I've also kind of come along here with my bone folder and I gave all the score lines a good crease. When it comes to boxes, good hard creases are crucial. If a box looks too soft on the side, it just doesn't look good. Okay, to create the little throne for my Easter egg to sit on, I'm gonna use the one and a quarter inch scallop circle punch. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I want to get uh, that centered in there, but guess what? I don't quite have enough room. So my trick is to take one of the ends and I'm just going to fold it under. Then I'm going to take that folded end and put it into my punch. I can then kind of see my lines here and do my best to center that up and give that a punch. So I do realize it is going to punch out part of um, my box, but that's okay. It's going to be totally hidden. To put this together, I'm just going to put some snail adhesive um, on these tabs. Normally we would have to use something stronger, but it's all going to be enclosed and so just a little bit of snail is all we need. And let's face it, that's usually sitting out on our desk anyway. So you can see I'm just bringing the corners together and voila, there is my throne. Okay, I'm now going to come in with that um, perfect plum cardstock. I'm going to use an elegant eggplant ink pad for this one. And the stamp set I'm going to use today is so cute. It's called Extra Spectacular. I love little thin line stamps and I just love Easter stamps. They're just so sweet. We're going to use this Easter egg, this little happy Easter Easter egg here. And elegant eggplant classic ink. Now, one thing you have to understand about how this um, throne is going to go together, it's going to be like this. So, because this stamp has words, I want to make sure that um, I'm doing my words correctly so I don't have upside down Easter eggs. Which means, when I go to this side, I need to turn it around so that um, my eggs are going to be going in the right direction. We are going to turn it over and do the inside as well. Now I'm going to come in with the scallop tag topper punch. You notice that two inches, it fits just perfect in there. We're going to punch out both ends, throw that on the floor so the dogs can go and mess with that. Okay, so there's my little throne. I'm going to come in with my bone folder and give those score lines a really good crease. You can see it's starting to come together. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my box. And what I'm gonna have you do is um, put some snail right along that score line. And here's the thing, we might have to go um, and kind of double up, maybe about half, go halfway down that snail. I hope that makes sense. Basically, um, I've got three quarters of an inch here and I don't want my snail to come up too high. I'm going to take that area that is punched out, like I said, we want that hidden. And you can see I'm just going to kind of adhere that. Now I can come along on the other side. There's the beginning of our throne. Of course we can come in and see that our little Cadbury egg fits pretty in there. Alright, we're now going to do um, a little punching. I'm going to use the extra large wide oval. And I'm going to come in. You can feel that it's resting on your box. And we're just going to punch 
right out of the center. And we're just gonna do that on the one side. So to decorate up our box, we're gonna need a couple pieces of cardstock. This really can just be scrap. We're not gonna be using a lot. I'm gonna be using Daffodil Delight and Pool Party um, cardstock. Uh, let's start with the Pool Party. I'm gonna use two different things. I'm gonna use some Pool Party ink. And um, that Easter egg is already inked up in the uh, Elegant Eggplant. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that. And then I'm gonna use that wide, uh, wide, extra large wide oval punch again. We're gonna punch that out. And you know what? I thought it's so easy. Let's just go ahead and stamp it on the other side. This is my tag. And that way if my tag flips around, it's stamped on both sides. So I figure, why not? Now let's take that again. And I'm gonna come in with this speckle stamp from Gorgeous Grunge. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of speckle the bottom of um, that cardstock there. I'm gonna come in with the wide oval punch and punch it out. Kind of looks like a robin's egg. Okay, now we've gotta do um, a little egg shape here. So what I'm going to do is cut it in half and then just hand cut some little tiny cracks in the egg. A uh, little tip I learned, don't make these too big. Um, I went a little too deep with some and I thought, ooh, that like chicky had a little hard time getting out of there. So just kind of, um, you know, keep them small. We're gonna do this to both of them. Now let's create our little chick. I'm going to um, come in back with that one and a quarter inch scallop. We're actually gonna punch out two of these. And what I want to do is get the corner, and we're just going to punch out, oh, I've probably got about three, actually, you know, I'm going to go ahead and make that deeper, and I'll show you why. I'm going to trim it down so that I only have about three scallops there. But I do need some length, so I have something to work with to adhere it. And what I want to do is to come in with the Daffodil Delight ink pad and I have a Daffodil Delight sponge and we're just going to sponge the edges. This is going to give that little chicky some texture. And while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and get this one too. And we're also going to sponge that little scallop. To make the beak, I found the Little Labels Punch Pack this little postage stamp turns out to be just perfect for this. If you'll punch out one of those, and the reason I say it is so much easier with this is because cutting out and scoring little tiny uh, squares is not easy. I'm gonna take my bone folder and just basically draw myself a little score line. It's gonna make it easier to fold. Again, tricky little things, let me tell you. They are just tiny, tiny. And I'm gonna go ahead and come in give that a really good crease. So there's the beak. I'm gonna put some snail, well, come on snail, work with me, down at the bottom of my chick. I'm gonna go ahead and add the egg. You don't want the beak right smack in the middle. We're gonna bring it up just a little bit higher, like so. With a black marker, I'm just going to put those two little eyes, kinda of keep those close together. It's looking so cute, huh? We're then gonna come in with some paper snips and we're gonna trim down the scallop and then just kind of come along and give these a couple little cuts, just like so. Now we can add this to her little head. So cute. And this other one, we're gonna attach it on the back. It's gonna kind of hide some of that ugliness that we have going on there, just in case you see it. But now the back doesn't look, you know, absolutely hideous. Okay, I've got about seven inches of the crushed curry um, chevron ribbon. We're just gonna run this through the holes up at the top. I'm now gonna come in, I've got about 12 inches of my gold baker's twine. This really brings out the gold in the Cadbury egg and is just really, really precious. I'm gonna tie it up here at the top, and I'm actually gonna tie it in a knot. That way I'm not fighting it. You know, Baker's Twine, um, and that ribbon, of course, just gravity is gonna work against me, but now I can work with it and not have to fight. I'm gonna come in with that little Happy Easter, 
I'm going to use a hole punch here at the top and just run this baker's twine through. Again, that's what's nice about being stamped on both sides. I don't have to fight it. Now we're just going to simply tie this in a bow. Okay, it's now time to add our chick. You can see I've put a couple Stampin' Dimensionals here, one over here. Let's start with my little chick. I'm going to kind of bring her off to the side. I don't want to cover up my hole there. I'm going to take my little cracked Easter egg and let's just kind of set that about there. And guys, that's all there is to it. Our little egg goes in and we are all set and ready for a really great Easter. What do you think? I just think it is a really precious little idea, very colorful and great for anyone for Easter. What do you think? I don't care how old you are. I'm never too old for a Cadbury egg. So, all right, well guys, listen, there's a complete supply list waiting for you here on YouTube. And there's also a complete supply list at simplysimplestamping.com. While you're there, you can hit the online order button Order everything you need to create your Easter project. Now listen, Easter this year is not until April 20th, so you've got plenty of time to order those punches, that extra, or egg, oh, what is it? Extra spectacular, that's a mouthful, that really cute little stamp set, and let me tell you, that little chickie is just too precious for words. I hope you're inspired by that project, and it's one you'll try again. Remember, everything you need for Stampin' Up! is found at simplysimplestamping.com. I appreciate, uh, appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate your ordering and just your support of this video series. So thanks so much, you guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay.